Name me one time in the last three and a half years that Biden's been president where he's conducted some type of military action that we could actually be proud of. We haven't engaged in any military action that... Yes, like, we have. Actually, we've engaged in quite oh, a wait, few hold on. different... You know, what? you know what? I will say this. I was about to say like public um, or like widely publicized uh, uh, military action. But you know what? There is one that I can think of off the top of my head, and that would be okay. us bombing the f*** out of the Houthis. We wait, we, we started bombing the Houthis? Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah wow. we... we demolished yeah. them it was uh actually super f based yeah our navy is uh unbelievably incredible so uh well, that i couldn't do. yeah uh, you're you're a navy <laughs> guy i forgot about that yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no the uh the thing that, that that comes to mind whenever i think about that though is our pull out of afghanistan that was That's horrible your... Yeah, it was horrible. horrible. You know and why and it was that horrible? pretty much that pretty much set the seed for what happened in Israel. Absolutely not. They oh, they I like it's, that, specifically stated why they why they did October seventh. I I you realize I that part that, of that part of the reason was because Trump made uh, recognized Jerusalem as the capital of Israel and moved our embassy there, and that was part of the reason. We've been saying for years that we were going to do it. He just finally no, had the balls to be the one to do it. we never said that. We never said that, I don't think. I don't think that's been the official policy of literally any president. Now, okay. if they did, that was a stupid thing to say, but they didn't do it because of the political ramifications of it. Because obviously it would heighten tensions in a part of the world that we're trying to constantly reduce tensions in. And if you want to talk about Afghanistan, uh, yeah, it was like not a great pullout. It was about as good as we could do given the circumstances. You know where those circumstances came from? All of the, all of the negotiations beforehand, all of, the, you know, who, who was that CTV? Sorry, I'm looking up the, uh... yeah, it was Trump that yeah. negotiated all of that. And he negotiated all of that. You know what, the moving of the capital? No, no, no. I'm talking about Afghanistan. When it came to Afghanistan, who negotiated all of that process? Right. He had it all laid out. It was supposed to be... It, it, no, no. And the reason fact, it was he bad. He said as much. The reason it was bad... Is because, it was because Biden no. pulled the military out first. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Trump did. He was the one that drew down our military there. Trump like, wasn't so the president. He said... He said the time scale with the Taliban. He was the one that oh, negotiated with know? the Taliban. Well, okay. Hold on, I do know about this. They, he was the one that negotiated with the Taliban without including the Afghanistan government in there. He completely cut them out of those, uh, out of those conversations. Uh, agreed on a certain timetable by which we would be reducing our troop presence in Afghanistan. They had all of that, uh, all of that in writing. All of that continued under Biden. And then when it came time to do it, there was, an, there was a choice. Either we could walk back on our promise and start putting more troops into Afghanistan, and that would be a really bad political move, and it would be a really bad move in terms of, you know, keeping us out of another war, right? Or he could stick to his guns and take the political hit for it. And Biden is the only president that was willing to take that hit. Oh, okay. Sorry, I almost hung up by accident. If you want to know, like, there, there are parts of it that really sucked. But p the parts of it that really sucked, guess who negotiated those things? It was Donald J. Trump. Because he wanted to be the one that got us out of Afghanistan. All right. Now, Trump was a president. Trump was making all of the steps to be able to do a pullout, right? Yeah. But Biden gets in office. Biden's now the president. You don't pull the military out first before you pull out your civilians and high-value people. It doesn't take a genius to figure that out. You're like, I get reminded of that scene from uh, from Inglorious Bastards, right? I haven't seen Where he's like, like 10 years. Bro, he's like, you know what? You don't got to be a genius. No, you don't want to fight in a basement. Right? Wait, say it again? And you don't want to fight in a basement. Remember that scene? It's like you don't gotta be a genius. No, you don't gotta. You don't want to fight in the basement. No, I don't remember. Right? I I remember. Well, you don't gotta be a genius. No, first time, and that's about it. 
You don't got to be a genius to know you don't want to pull the military out first. Hey, let's pull the people out with guns so that our people without guns can then be subject to other people that are not our people and they have guns. As a matter of fact, our plan is to pull the military out and leave all of the equipment behind. So not only are we pulling out our armed people to leave our unarmed people there, but we're going to leave arms there so that unarmed people can then become armed with our arms and then point those arms at our unarmed people. Let's say I'm actually curious. Timeline of troop levels in Afghanistan since 2001. Oh my God, all of these places are paywalled. Can we get like a graph? Can we get anyway? The sad but true situation that the everyday person finds himself in Sansa so is that they know what to expect with Trump and they do not. And, but you know what? And they kind of know what to expect. As a matter of fact, they know exactly what to expect with Harris. The same oh, shit they've been getting with Biden. I'm sorry. I just found and they're something not happy that's about really that. rough. I found something that's really rough. Damn it. You were right. Getting, this, getting the same shit. You were right. They pulled down the forces. Oh, wait. Hold on. Sorry. I was reading the dates wrong. Uh, it was actually uh, Donald, uh, under Donald Trump that the troops went down below 10,000 troops. In one year, he pulled out, uh, looks like, yeah, right around 10,000 troops. And by the end of his time there, there were only 4,000. It was him that pulled down our troop numbers there. Yeah, that's how you start a move out. When it comes to the last part of it, though, you don't pull out the military first, which is what they did. That's that happened under Trump. That's what I'm telling you. I'm looking at a graph right now. Do I need to share screen with you? Or here, I'll just screen cap it. There you go. There you go. There's I the, mean, the ad from or the article from NPR about the specific incident that we're talking about. Let's see here. I'm trying to find where they're talking about the drawdown one sec this isn't talking about the troop levels this is just talking about the political impl implications to because it was that pullout that went so horribly wrong that, that Again, the american people up, after the, that who set up this who set the stage for that withdrawal who was the one that negotiated the pullout of afghanistan uh, look Donald Trump, he I was the one that was I, bragging about it. He I, was bragging look, about I get it. That, I get that you're inexperienced with any type of military operation is why I probably you're have a just as time. much. No, well, you're right. Uh, but I probably have because just as much military experience as Donald Trump, who was the chief negotiator with the Taliban when he went around the Afghanistan government, the government of Afghanistan. He went around their back right. and, and right. so, negotiated this, and he started drawing down the troop levels to below 10,000 before Biden even took office, right? He set a right. timetable for when we were going mm -hmm. to pull out. He didn't set up mm -hmm. any support for the government of uh, Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. okay. So is it so, all fall on Biden? Yeah. Oh, Okay. I forgot. Only Democrats can do something wrong. Uh, like no, no. whether it's the because, well, hold on, because we've been over inflation, which began because of policies under Trump. I will listen after I finish You're not this. Listen. I promise you, I will. Uh, wow. you, you know me. You love me, and this wow. is why you love me because I spit wow. facts at you. First, we went over inflation. No, where it, they it really you, look. It seriously, it comes down to the commander in chief. In if a part of the plans. The, the the Trump plans, right? It's written down, pull out military first, leave unarmed civilians, then sure. I guarantee you that wasn't the case. So setting everything up, which does take time to move things logistically, you're pulling out people, you're pulling out officials, blah, blah, blah. You would set those things up when it comes to the last operation 
right, or the last few operations, you don't pull out the people that are protecting the unarmed people. That's what that's the basics of what it comes down to. That's it. So all the pre-setting up, all that stuff, it, it comes down to the last few operations where that there was no thought to protecting the, the unarmed people that were still there. It was it, it was February a bad event. February 29th of 2020. US and if you're not all deal. that familiar with it, then that's, that's fine because there's shit that I'm not... But I that mean, one like, right there I, specifically not... stands out in my mind. Okay, well, here here's what I'll say. All right, so... First, I will agree, it wasn't a great pullout of Afghanistan. I'm not going to sit here and say that it was. I'm saying it's probably about as good as it could be, given the circumstances that preceded it, right? I don't agree, though, but that's like, me. Well, how about this? I'll add this caveat, all right? Uh, it was probably as good as it could be without increasing the amount of troops on the ground. No. If we were to keep to the the timetable that was laid out by the Trump administration, I, I mean, like that's it, it seems to be like I mean, I'm looking at one um, one article from 2021. Well, anyway, Trump officials back away yeah. from 2020 Taliban peace deal after withdrawal chaos because they didn't want to be associated with it, even though it was their deal that they were enacting. But we can we can move on to a different topic. Yeah, we can just like not it. agree, and that's fine, yeah. right? You know, the, the, but this like, is the I, frustration. It's, it's my opinion. It's yeah. my opinion, right? That that pullout specifically led to emboldening other characters in the region to then uh, start doing the things that, like the Houthis down in Yemen, right? They start seeing that there's not a strong United States. Uh, let's start testing these. That's exactly what they did. And then we they around and they found out, didn't they? And people are still around, right? And we still haven't got our shit straight. And who's president? What, what do you mean they're still around? Every single time they try and do something now, like it was a, a like crazy big deal when it first started, but then we blew up like 150 of their uh, launch silos and they haven't really recovered from that. They'll try and launch off something every once in a while. And then the second that they do are, you know... It, 5G, like, giga military tech pinpoints their asshole, and we drive a Tomahawk missile straight up it. Like, dog, you're zooted, aren't you? <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe.